Now, the benefits of an ATM versus something like a Camlink or a ATM, an Avia Media, sorry, I got an Avia Media, or these or other, other alternatives, these are all capture cards. The majority of them, that's a single capture card. That's also a single capture card. And so is this. So one USB port, one camera input, and that's your single capture. I have got a card somewhere here, which will allow a, I'll get to it in a moment. This will allow you two captures. So this one's quite interesting. So you can have two inputs and one output. So that the output is using one USB, but it would see it as two different cameras. Now the ATM works slightly different because I right, get this out of the box. This isn't going to be an unboxing all that kind of stuff. This is actually going on eBay. It's got some stands on it and stuff like that. So let's move that out the road. This is now being sold. So in your ATM, ATM, I say ATM, I should say ATM Mini. So here we have four inputs. So you can plug in four cameras and HDMI out. So if you want it to a confidence monitor or something like that, and you've got that will go the the USB out that will actually go to a computer so in effect this is a fancy webcam so whereas these will take a DSLR and turn it into a fancy webcam this will take four cameras depending on the quality of your camera and give you one webcam which you can switch in between them now there is an argument where some people are saying they prefer to have four of these versus one of these which is going to give you four camera inputs and one outputs by that what i mean is so if you imagine you plug in all your four cameras in there there is a picture in picture mode but generally it's one view per screen so if i press if i got camera one and i press that whatever's coming from camera one would be shown on the screen depending how i formatted it so it might be full screen it may be within an inset or something like that now if i want to see the second camera obviously i'll press that and that replaces camera one the feed coming in from camera one it's still available you can still see it on a preview monitor if you've got that set up but now for joe public whoever seen the stream we're now selected camera two to go out depending on how you set these but in general when you press one one is whatever's coming in one is going to go out to and whatever's coming in two is going to go out to the stream or to your recording again this has got really popular popular to record with because if you imagine you don't have to do any edits if you flip between the relevant cameras you wanted so again same with three and four and then you've got different options i won't bore you with all them as either cutting and fading and all that kind of stuff now if you're using software i'm using something like ecamm you could probably use the same thing with something like obs you can actually set so as you can see i've got a picture within picture there i can remove that so in effect here i'm showing two cameras because the camera where me I'm in and obviously the one coming down now if I wanted to because I've got multiple cameras let me, I could have I'll pull in the screen there I've got this side one here <laughs> obviously way too close for a focus there so and then I've got a back one now I could that's what I'm doing in effect I'm switching using software the same as if i was to do pressing these but the advantage with the software setup i've only got one with multiples but i could have this with if i've got four cameras i could have a scene with all four cameras going out to the stream whereas with this you as i said you can get with using the software you can get a picture within picture but generally it's one camera out at a time so even though you've got four coming in it's only one going out at a time now that's particularly useful i mean if you if you wanted the extra one where i've got that, that picture in picture you could get something like a cam link as your main 
camera focused on yourself and if you're doing arts and crafts or cooking or something like that you could use this to switch between that activity if you're doing podcasts and you've got one camera and everybody's in the same room and you've got one camera on one uh, one of the guests one on the other guest and then maybe a wide shot of the room uh you can whoever's doing it they can cut in between it both on the recording or on the live stream and that's a perfect that's a perfect environment for that this or this type of setup so again it's up to you just bear in mind that generally this is one camera coming out or one camera feed coming out even though you've got four in at any one time so if you want to switch in between them it's perfect if you want more if you wanted all four on display at any one time without you uh hacking and all that kind of stuff and using the confidence monitor setup and stuff like that basically this wouldn't be for you you would be looking at getting multiple either cam links or variations of them or maybe mixing the mixing the two so as i said you may have a cam link for one of your headshots and if you're cooking and crafting maybe use this to switch in between that or if you're a mechanic you may have this on your in your uh workshop so whatever activity you're on it can you can cut between there and maybe one as your main sit down camera so that's the uh, 80m mini there is the pro version which will allow you to record directly onto the device or, or with a external uh, drive and it would actually record each separate camera so even though you make sending out a mix with your uh cuts between your podcast or your process or your cooking or whatever you're doing individual recordings will be on there and you can pull them in quite easily to something like uh, davinci resolve or really easy with that and it'll all be time stamps and if you wanted to re-edit post your live stream or post your live recording so that's the black magic again if you're in with more of the black magic family as the cameras and stuff like that there you do get benefits as you cut between these you can see the camera which you're on the lavatelli light so you'll see the activity monitor and all that kind of stuff so that's that really useful and i'll cover other camera or other devices so if you are looking to get in this world of creating content this might be for you or the grown-up version the pro version and there is uh, ones with even more camera feeds or maybe a simple basic hdmi capture and a webcam might be all what you need so we're going to cover on this channel all the different styles of devices and then maybe you'll be able to think of yes i want something like this or maybe i want to pull in just two cameras so if you found this video helpful do give us a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one